Well, here it is, YouTube. I have a Red Cat Everest 16 with the easy run series brushless it says one tenth one twelfth a lot smaller motor than that hate to tell them it said one sixteenth one eighteenth whenever I bought it and Chinese writing there there got the American on the opposite side featured a lot of crap Blah blah blah, brushless, ready to run, made in China, eh, whatever. Greatest thing about this system is, well, it came with program card. That's my other gear and Mini Max modified motor that I blew up, brush motor. I burned her down. And another, another upgrade I did. I went and put a real big battery in there. A little 4200, full size. And I converted over my plug because it had a small Tamiya connector. And I don't know if you can see that in there. It's a small miniature Tamiya. And we turned the car around. And there's a little motor. You little guy in there. I got a 16 tooth gear. Got the wheel spacers in there. 17 millimeter and the servo on the front of there is it what is it a 1 16th Revo or Summit all metal gear I also did the bent control arm mod bent them myself they're not perfect but yeah I know what can you ask and uh we're going to give a little test spin for you guys. I know it's been two minutes. I'm driving like, hey, man. Well, this is on... This is mode two. And on takeoff mode, which is the lower speed mode. And I'll try and set up the camera here for you guys. You can get a little, little, little good view. Oh, no, not going to even happen. I'll one-hand it. All right, well... That's why I'm not going any further forward. I got a lot of shit. Monte Carlo. But yeah, got a lot more, uh, a lot more balls out of it. You can, you know, pick your reverse. You can also move that stuff out of the way. Got a pretty good amount of flex too. And you can set it up for braking, forward and reverse, and just forward. So it's a pretty good deal. Fifty-four dollars for the brushless kit. About twenty-five or so for the servo, and about twenty-five or so for the the wheel spacers, and about. About 40 for the battery around, give or take. But it's a hell of a get up. And, you know, you got the axles. So, solid axle. That's on 25% reverse right there. And I'm just goosing it. I ain't even full throttle it yet. That's why. Because whenever you full throttle it, it hits shit.
It will do donuts. And it'll also hit shit and flip over like that. Pretty tough. Got a uh, different body on there, obviously. Walmart rock crawler body. And the Red Cat didn't work whenever it shipped to us. So I fixed that by running my own power wire to the receiver. And we had power. But with the new ESC and uh, motor, I don't have to have that. So I just ran it by a switch this time. And I can just turn it on and off and got my switch all mounted up in there. I got a, see a little body pin there, custom made. Got those from battery wire, a little zip ties. Got that because I'm running my receiver on the top of my battery. So I didn't want my connectors to get all messed up. So I plastic welded a zip tie in there and stuck a hobby wing sticker on it. Call it a day. And this body's also been on this car with other modifications done to it before. That's why the extra hole was there. So, I mean, you got the screw right here. And, well, nut, technically. My nut and bolt system, it works fairly well. Bodies never came off this thing. Of course, sometimes it gets stuck, especially whenever you flip it off some rocks and stuff. Beat it up. If I was smart, I'd grab one of those wrenches laying right over there. I'm sure I got a, you know, 10 millimeter somewhere. And obviously. That's what I'm out to do. So, 10 mil. Biggest trouble I've ever had taking this thing off before. And my one little body pin down here. Bad videotaping. This body pin's kind of a pain. And then I can just toss the body off. Still got the zip ties, so I can't take it very far. But I can show you guys what's going on down here. But, battery on the top. More weight towards the front. Connector towards the back. Right. Got my switch right there. All right, Power wire, as you see, ran down below. And... Right in there is where I'm hiding my electronic speed control. Nice brushless system. I had to swap around the wires there, the orange and yellow, because the motor is running a different direction. So you swap around the two wires and they'll run the other direction. Because I ain't got a LiPo battery or no fancy other connector for this uh, programmer. But. And, uh. Oh yeah, I broke a drive shaft once. Yeah, it kind of threw it down on the ground a little too hard. And plastic welded it, glued it, epoxied it, and there she lays. Lots of zip ties in the making of this. As you noticed, big zip tie. Two little zip ties, two smaller zip ties. Another good upgrade, cut the tires. Don't cut them like the ignorant people on there do and take off two lugs every, you know, frickin' thing. That's just too much. You're not going to get the grip you need, especially not on jagged rocks. And you never take off side lug. Look at that side lug. If you can see it from my direction, you'd be able to tell that they're cut out to where if it slips on one, it'll catch on the other. 
They have three different fucking settings. I'm not supposed to say that on YouTube. My bad. Came with the wheel spacers. Had to drill a five millimeter hole through my wheel. Stock wheels. Stock tires. Just a hoopty. But it's fun.